Hi friends, welcome back to another reading vlog. Okay, so I promised I was gonna start this vlog with makeup on and I have not because it's halfway through the work day and I haven't had time yet. And honestly, like, I just really want to start this book now on my lunch hour and I didn't want to miss vlogging at the start of the book. So you've got no makeup, Lucy. Enjoy. So at the start of this year, I posted a video and I basically said that I really wanted to do some, um, more spoiler filled reading vlogs centered on like one specific book and my reading experiences with those books. And this is the first of those reading vlogs today. We're going to finally delve into Jade City by Fonda Lee. I've seen this book literally everywhere recently. I feel like it's been popular for many years, but it's just kind of having another like hype resurgence at the moment on booktube and also on book talk. So I'm really excited to just delve in and see what it's all about. Um, but this book I picked up in the adult fantasy section. I obviously don't know if it is actually adult fantasy, new adult fantasy, YA fantasy. I don't really know what it is yet because I've not started it. But yeah, I picked it up in the adult fantasy section and essentially this is like an Asian inspired urban fantasy centering around two rival gangs and and the um, theft of jade, which essentially is like a, obviously a jewel that people are using to gain power. And I believe it can give warriors like more strength and speed and stuff like that. And previously like only warriors were able to wield it, but all of a sudden your average citizen is able to wield it. And it's basically like caused um, gangs to form and it's become almost like a drug I suppose so yeah I'm really really excited to get stuck in I have read the first page and there's already two quotes that I really want to underline but I'm trying not to annotate this book because I'm annotating Jane Eyre quite closely right now for university and honestly I just need a book that I'm not like close close reading in that sense and I feel like because I'm probably going to be vlogging like every single one of my reactions to this I'm probably not going to need to annotate it because you guys are going to get those reactions like in real time anyway um but I may yet change my mind and go back and highlight or something those quotes because honestly like they were pretty damn gorgeous and I loved it and I was like well if there's two on the first page then this is a good start okay this is a good start. So I'm gonna go make myself some lunch and I'm gonna take this downstairs with me and we're gonna get properly stuck in while I eat lunch and drink coffee and just have like five minutes away from my laptop for the day. Go me! Okay guys I've moved downstairs to the kitchen. I'm currently waiting for my crumpets to cook which I think is probably the most British thing I have ever said on this channel. Um, but you gotta love a crumpet right? Right? It just, they're elite. It's, it's an elite British food. Honestly, the fact that crumpets have just become synonymous with the UK, I'm not mad at it. I'm not even slightly mad at it. I'm not even mad at like the fish and chips thing either, to be honest, but crumpets in particular, I'm not mad at. I love crumpets, they are elite. They are the best. I'm obsessed. Anyway, it is time. We're gonna officially start Jade City. I have selected a bookmark for the occasion. I have selected Our Lord and Saviour, Dame Salvatore, which just feels like a fitting representation representation is not the word I'm looking for it feels like a fi <laughs> oh my god you can tell it's Friday right and I have had caffeine basically it's just very fitting because he this is my favorite man on the planet and I just have a feeling this is going to become my new favorite fantasy okay basically that's what I was getting at with that one I'm going to start reading now before I actually lose my mind okay guys I changed my mind <laughs> I'm not going to annotate properly but I'm definitely going to highlight my favorite quotes because just oh my god I'm literally only on page seven and there's already been loads and I'm just getting such good vibes from this book. So yes, we are going to highlight some quotes quickly and then I'm going to eat my crumpets. I'm just, this is a vibe. This is already just good vibes, good vibes, good vibes only. Okay guys, I've read chapter one. 
current thoughts. And I'm not gonna do this for every chapter, by the way, don't worry, but obviously it's just, you know, the opening of the book and I'm excited. So chapter one, it's got off to a bang. I love it when fantasy authors just drop you straight into the action, not in like a Game of Thrones kind of way, where the first chapter has you literally reading it like, I don't understand anything that is going on right now or anything these people are saying, but from like, an accessible point so you kind of immediately understand what's happening but you're just like in the action like this literally kicks off with like a jewel heist well it's not really a heist well it's kind of a heist a theft a jewel theft right and immediately like there's tension there's excitement you're introduced to one of the gangs you're introduced to two, to two petty criminals you're immediately kind of aware that there's like an issue going on for the gangs because they're talking about this I think his name was like Three Finger G. Is that what he's called? G, yeah. Three Finger G, who's like some jade minor or something, and he's like gone missing or he's dead or yes, yeah, so you're you're immediately like thrown into just kind of the world, but in a way that's like accessible. And I really appreciated that and I loved the fact that it started with like a theft because you've also seen the effects of Jade. You've read something that's like sucked you in and has made you immediately interested in the story and the world building has begun all in one chapter and I'm like yes more of this more of this please more of this thank you okay I'm not going to go and carry on eating my crumpet undisturbed but yeah that's just I needed to appreciate fondly for a moment there <laughs> Hey guys, if you recognise the setup for this clip, it is because I have just signed off my um, bookish date reading vlog. I don't know if you guys will have seen that or not yet. I'm really tired. I've been in Manchester all day. I'm just exhausted, which is why I look like a bedraggled mess, but I thought I would duck in to fill you out, fill you out, fill you in. Oh my God. I thought I'd duck in to fill you in on where I'm at with Jade City. I'm sorry, by the way, like honestly, my brain has scrambled, which is not encouraging because I now have to study, but it's fine. Um, so I am now on page 126 of Jade City. I'm really enjoying it so far. So we have basically now met both of the two rival gangs, the No Peaks and the Mountain, or the Mountains. I, don't know where my allegiance lies right now. I feel like because this is told largely from the perspective of the people in the No Peaks gang that you're supposed to at this point obviously be um, on their side, but I do wonder if there's gonna be like something that makes you start to feel more sympathetic to the mountain. Also, there's a character called Doru who is like basically the advisor to the leader of the No Peaks gang. And I think that my prediction is that he's actually um, loyal to the mountains and is um, acting as like an inside informer because he basically just seems to be like going against everything that the leader of the No Peaks is saying. And it's just basically disrespecting him because he's loyal to the leader's grandfather. Um, so yeah, that's my prediction um, because there's basically just been a situation where one of the cousins of the guys, the leader of the No Peaks, has been like taken by the rival gang. Nothing bad's happened to him, but they basically kind of want to use him as like almost like a bargaining tool to unite the two a little bit and to kind of help to keep the peace. Um, and Doru straight away is just basically trying to push the 
leader of the no peaks into accepting the terms that the mountains set aside even though he doesn't really want to do that and he's like actually hang on a minute like there's other ways that we can kind of like approach this political situation basically so it's really interesting um and then we've actually just had a really short little chapter with the two jade thieves that we saw in the first chapter um i didn't realize like i just thought they were you know just there to kind of kick start the action but we've just had another chapter with them so i wonder if they're going to be kind of like an actually more like central role in the story than we thought at first um so i wonder with them if they're going to get somehow caught up in the wars between the two and i think they will probably choose allegiance with the mountains because obviously it was the no peaks that basically stopped them from stealing the jade um I realise that none of that will have made sense unless you've read this so I don't know if I'm doing a very good job of doing a spoiler filled reading vlog I don't think I've ever done a spoiler filled reading vlog actually before so I don't know but anyway that's what I'm thinking so far um, but yeah I'm really enjoying it this is definitely an adult fantasy and I'm really happy about that um, it's very accessible adult fantasy so I don't think that it would be impossible for a younger audience to access but just the characters obviously are like in their mid to late 20s and um there's already been like kind of sexual themes and stuff so i definitely think this is more adult or new adult at least than ya um i did actually have a look in waterstone today to see if i could pick up the second one and they didn't have it they had this one and the new one the third one so i didn't pick that up um but yeah i'm enjoying it i'm really enjoying it um i want to read i'd like to try and get to the halfway point today i don't even know how many pages there actually is in this i don't want to spoil myself it's so like about 500 pages so i'd like to maybe get to page 200 tonight or 250 but honestly i don't know if that's going to be possible because i do have to go and study now um and i'm reading jane eyre at the moment and i have like 50 pages of jane eyre that i now have to read before i go to sleep and then a load of like analytical stuff that i've got to do for that so i don't know if i will finish it tonight but i'm going to try and do yeah, I'm going to try and get to halfway tonight and then I'm going to try and read a lot more tomorrow because I'd like to finish it on Monday because Monday is the last day of January and I don't want to take this through to February because I've got major reading plans for February and yeah, basically that's where we're at. I am going to go because I really need to go and start studying um, but I will try and fill you guys in later on if I have any more thoughts and I'm definitely going to obviously do some updates tomorrow. I'm going to film some other videos tomorrow as well so it's going to be a big old day tomorrow yeah okay i'm honestly i think i'm losing it i'm a little bit like ugh. i'm gonna go i'll speak to you later i love you good morning guys it's sunday morning i have put workout clothes on with the idea that it at least will help me look like i have my shit together even though i absolutely do not have my shit together i look really tired and just really gross today mostly because i am really tired and i feel really gross today but it's not covid i just did a test and i'm negative so um but anyway i am currently having a little read of jade city and we have just learnt some more about doru the character that i said is like the weatherman who um is basically the advisor to the leader of the gang um and i said last night that i think he is a shady character i think he is <clears throat> Oh my God, sorry my throat is a mess i feel like he is like sharing information to the rival gang or like not actually loyal to the no peaks and anyway the leader's sister who's just come back um has just dropped a casual piece of information that he's basically um a total pervert and she used to bring her friend home from school with her and like he basically groomed her friend and i well you can guess what else happened i'm not going to say it on the video because i don't want to trigger anybody but yeah and that was like photographic evidence so shady dude shady shady dude absolutely disgusting so i guess trigger warning for that as well if you're going to get triggered by that being in the book um anyway i'm gonna carry on and read but yeah god i can't believe how rough i look today i'm so tired i feel just disgusting and this lighting is not it this is not flattering me until i like an egg okay major plot twist what the fuck i just reached the bit where the mountains whispered hilo's name excuse me so that is basically their best warrior assassinated i'm shook like i thought it was going to be lan because he's the one getting his rocks off in a brothel. 
I thought I thought that the woman was gonna like turn on him and, and stab him or something, but no. I'm a little bit shocked. And I'm not even like a quarter of the way through the book yet, guys. Actually, I probably am coming up on a quarter of the way through. This does not hesitate in the action. I'm, I am hooked, like I'm really enjoying it. I need to know what happens now. It's okay guys, he didn't die. Also, I don't know if it's pronounced Hilo or Hilo. I've been pronouncing it Hilo in my head, but now I'm thinking maybe that's wrong. Anyway, I need to now go and, and study, but I'm also gonna go get myself a packet of crisps because I'm feeling snacky. I put on my best like that girl workout gear today because I am determined to A, go for a walk and B, do some kind of like yoga or something like that. Because, you know, I'm trying to be that girl. I'm trying and failing but i need to be so anyway that's what i'm gonna go and do also i'm not like in bed like i'm on bed but not like in bed so yeah i'm gonna get crisps do some studying tidy my room because it's disgraceful get some more laundry on work out and then i'm gonna journal this evening so yeah fun times okay guys after a full day of studying and reading jane eyre i'm now back with jade city and things are looking really interesting so now the two clans are about to go to war doru has been unofficially pushed out and i'm just getting a really bad like premonition that both hilo and lan are going to get killed in this war and that shay is going to become the new pillar because she would be the only one of the children remaining but obviously she's now jadeless so this is really intriguing i kind of hope i'm right because the pillar of the other gang is a woman as well so i think it'd be really interesting if suddenly both gangs are headed up by women am i on to something who knows um but yeah i'm really enjoying this i'm absolutely nowhere near my um, aim of being finished by tomorrow I think I'm like a quarter of the way through which is a shame because I didn't want this to drag into February but to be honest like university obviously has to take priority um, and if I wasn't reading Jane Eyre for university and having to read it quite quickly but also quite closely I'd have more time to devote to this so it's kind of poor planning on my behalf but you know it's fine um, yeah I'm still really enjoying this though I'm really I have no idea where this is going to go like obviously there's going to still be um like wars between the two gangs but i'm really intrigued as to where this is going to go and then like where the whole trilogy is going to go so yeah we'll see good morning guys i haven't updated this vlog in a little while because i have been super busy reading oh my god i can't get it hang on reading this bad boy for university um which has just meant that I haven't really been able to make much progress with Jade City. I've literally been able to read maybe like two or three pages a day. Um, which I think has taken me out of the story a little bit. It's taken me out of the flow, which is really annoying. Because I was enjoying it when I first started. And now I'm just kind of a bit like, eh. Um, like it's good, but it's just not like... I don't know, it's not grabbed me enough. Like I honestly really thought this was going to be a five star read. And at the moment it's sitting somewhere like around a 3.5, maybe a 4. Um but i'm coming up on three quarters of the way through lands just died which i did call that although i didn't think it was going to happen the way it happened but lands just died hilo hilo is now the pillar of the clan shay has come back re-accepted her jade and is now the weatherman and doru the little guy who i said i thought was um actually uh taking payment and working for the mountain secretly was so i called that too although i think that was really obvious she really set you up to realize that i think so yeah it's it's interesting it's just not like got me but now they're about to go into like all out warfare between the two clans so i think things are going to get really fast paced and really interesting again um i'm actually really hoping that i can finish this at some point tonight or tomorrow um because i have some reading plans for this weekend that do not involve jade city so i really need to finish this either today or tomorrow and then i can move on because i'm ready to move on now it's dragged on a little bit longer than i wanted it to um but yeah that's how i feel about this bad boy right now hey guys wow that is not flattering oh my god no so i am coming close to the end of jade city now i think i've got about 80 pages left to read um so the two clan leaders the two pillars have started their like 
mediation talks and obviously everything's going a little bit sour um shay has just said no to the mountains idea for union and has basically like sealed the fate of her clan um and i think things are going to get very interesting in this last like few chapters but like honestly i'm still just not 100 percent in love with this book which i'm really sad about i really wanted to like love this trilogy so much and i just actually don't know whether to carry it on because it's just lacking something for me but again as i've said i don't know if it's because i kept having to dip out of it to go into jane Eyre for uni so i don't know whether to give the second one a go or not um but yeah that's where we're at the minute i think it's sitting at like a 3.5 out of 5 for me right now um i don't know i just expected more especially because like the first few chapters were like five star vibes like a hundred percent so yeah i'm a little bit like a little bit disappointed but let's see what happens in these last few chapters and maybe it can change my mind hey guys it's a little later and i'm just jumping on because i have finished jade city and i have honestly so many thoughts on this book um and I just don't even know if I can like accurately sum them up right now. You know when your brain is just like a scramble? I've not even finished work for the day. <laughs> but I'm actually just reading, reading, watching or more accurately listening to Mel Reed's live show because she's doing um, the Greenbone saga along at the moment. And they've all just read um, Jade City uh, probably about a week ago. And they did a live show about it. So I've, I had it saved to my watch later. And obviously now I'm listening to it now that I finished the book. And it's just really interesting listening to everybody else's perspectives on it as well because I think people had the same kind of problems that I had with it so basically when I first started reading it it was a five star my battery's flashing great it was a five star read through and through then it definitely went down to a three 3.5 and the ending did bring it back up to a four star I loved the twist with Anden at the end I love the fact that it's obviously been left open for the rest of the books with Barrow's story and the fact that things are still not sorted between the two clans I loved the fight at the end as well I thought that was really good and I'm glad that nothing bad happened to Hilo um I think we're definitely going to see more of Doru's character in the in the next book as well because obviously that was left open-ended with the letter to Shay um so I, I really liked the ending I thought it was really well done and it's made me curious to read more um and I really enjoyed the discussions around kind of addiction and drug use as well I thought that was really interesting especially because obviously it's in like a gang related urban fantasy novel which draws so many parallels to actual modern society and the drug problems that we have in cities and the gang related issues um so I thought it was really cleverly done I thought it was really cleverly done. I think half of my problem was that I kept having to jump out of the book to read Jane Eyre. And when you go from something like that to like 19th century gothic literature and then you go back, it's just very, very diff different and difficult to kind of wrap your head around both at the same time. And I think that's the only thing that really detracted from my reading experience. I think if I hadn't had that, I'd have raced through it a lot quicker. And I think staying in the narrative the whole time, I'd have been more hooked. For me, the reason why I didn't get a five star rating was simply because I just didn't find myself too attached to the characters, which is a shame because like when Lan dies, when Hilo's life's at risk, all of those kind of fight scenes and everything towards the end, I wanted more of a sense of urgency and a sense of like, sense of like emotional connection to the characters. And I just didn't have that. But I think that's more because of my reading experience than the book itself. I also thought the world building was really good. But you were 100% like thrown straight into it. And I think that can be a lot to wrap your head around as well. Like a lot of terminology. A lot of like clan politics and stuff. Um, but according to the live show I have heard that they actually do a glossary. And a bit of like a recap in the next book. That breaks down who everybody is. What the different terms mean. And all the different kind of... Um, relationships and stuff like that so I think that would be useful I am definitely going to read the next one and see what I think I don't know when I'm going to read it because I have huge TBR at the moment as you guys will already know um but I may break my book buying ban to get the next one and just finish it because I'm trying to finish a lot of series this year but we shall see anyway I'm going to end the video here before my battery dies on me but I hope you guys enjoyed it if you've read Jade City let me know in the comments what you thought um I'd love to kind of open up the discussion a little bit and I want to get back into doing kind of longer review videos as well similarly to how I did my Southern Book Club's Guide to Slaying Vampires video which is actually my favourite video I've ever done um so if you'd like to see some more kind of like in-depth reviews like that on this channel please let me know but I hope you've enjoyed the first of these kind of singular reading vlogs for um series I know I'm going to do it for the Plate of Prisoner series as well which you've discussed I might also do it for Zodiac Academy um, I don't know yet, but there's there's going to be a few of these that come up this year. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. Please subscribe if you're new and I'll see you in my next video very soon. Bye guys.